High Seas. Welcome to your November 2022 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You're watching Thomas's Tower readings. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Very much appreciated. Now, before we go into your readings, just a few things uh, up front that I mentioned in each reading, um, which means for each star sign, um, about November. November is the 11th month, as you probably know. <laughs> and 11 is a master number. Same double digit numbers are called master numbers. 11 is the strongest of these numbers. In fact, 11 is the strongest number there is. Because all these numbers that you now know as angel numbers and the likes, you know, 111, 444, all this kind of stuff. Um, well, I'm not saying they're not working. In the olden ways, when numerology was really a big thing, there was no mention, uh, really, of, of massive numbers that repeat themselves numerous times. Most of the numbers are between 1 and 9, and then the, the master numbers 11, 22, blah, 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 and so on, came in. So the point is, numerologically speaking, if that even is a word, <laughs> um, 11 is the most powerful number, and we are in the 11th month, which means whatever it is you're trying to achieve this month, uh, or, or trying to achieve in life, um, has a much higher chance to be achieved this month, in November 2022, than in any, any other... Kind of, uh, any other months of the year well it's a bit late because already we are, we are, we are in november um but technically speaking we have uh 2023 soon um and 2023 is a much higher number again because two and two is four and three is seven seven is the highest number of protection so by default 2023 will very likely it will be very surprised if it isn't um feel much easier to navigate through than bloody 2020 two and if if it isn't then maybe it's time we all stood up and set our peace right ultimately you are piscians you are the sign of the dreamer uh, you are governed by neptune i should say we are governed by neptune um because obviously i'm a pisces too but it always feels to me when i give a reading for piscians it is somehow easier when i make it about you and leave me out of the equation as a matter of fact i don't oftentimes remember what i said because i only work here and someone said to me the other day um, you should watch your own videos uh, when it comes to pisces because i'm sure the the advice that that pisceans get is also for you for me that's all good all true point is we're looking at uh, certain things here in this video number one we look at the overall energy for the months of november 2022 before we then look into your emotional core, which means is there some some um, shadow work that needs to be done? What what can what is there some trauma that can go? Is there love coming in? And then lastly, we look at opportunities. And opportunities for the most part are about what sustains you financially. Now going back to you being the sign of the dreamer, and Neptune is the governing planet of Pisces. Now I say Neptune is the governing planet. In the new version of astrology, everything bloody changes all the time. Only Neptune is mentioned. Traditionally speaking, Jupiter and Neptune are our uh, um, governing planets. And I don't really like the idea to remove Jupiter just because someone says it's not counted anymore. right? <laughs> because Jupiter is the first planet that ever formed. And Jupiter is the happy-go-lucky planet. And so whatever Jupiter touches expands. So having having a, a, a planet that is uh, not only very positive, but also um, successful, why would you bloody remove that? Right? So whoever makes these rules uh, um, that us astrologers are then supposed to sort of adhere to, if that is the word, right? I personally don't give a flying fuck. Okay? So... Um, the point is, Neptune is your governing planet in the in the sort of 21st century version of astrology, and Neptune's only job is to um, bring spirituality to the masses. Now, 
technically speaking, having Neptune in our corner. People oftentimes say that, therefore, that the most spiritual sign of all is Pisces, because not only are we daydreamers by default, um, um, we're quite shamanic from the get-go, right? We walk between worlds because there's this element of dreaming in our energy. And Neptune uh, is just here um, as a supportive, or as a support act, for no better word, um, for you, Pisces, to bring spirituality, positivity, good thoughts, deep thoughts to the masses. And that brings us to the overall energy for the months of November 2022 for Pisceans. Our term is enlightenment. Okay, let's be clear. It's one of those terms that gets thrown around. We have so many lives to live, to accumulate everything there is to accumulate, to learn everything there is to learn. There's no bloody way, no matter what you do for a bloody living, no matter how spiritual you are, that you will be enlightened because what's there to do when you're enlightened, right? So don't use that word and think you're the best since sliced bread because the energy says I'm enlightened. Don't hear this wrong. Enlightenment means that this is the month, November 2022, since November is a master number, so it will be the strongest month, energetically speaking, uh, for every star sign. Um, but for us Pisceans, the Enlightenment means that this is a month where you maybe proactively should try to encourage people. Uh, you know, if you're um, someone that works spiritually, give as many workshops as you can. Public talks, um, help people not to be super depressed. There's always a silver lining somewhere. Find it for them, if you must. But enlightenment means that, that we will also be uh, less affected by the shit that hits the fan everywhere, if that makes sense, because by default we dreamers. So there is an innate belief inside Pisceans that we will get through things. And that is sort of needed for this month, and you are asked to, to embody that, okay? So, now interestingly, we're now looking at your emotional core, and then we look at opportunities. But the overall, or the energy for the emotional core, which means is there trauma that can go, uh, is there love coming in, there's quite an interesting energy, because the energy for the emotional core is opportunity. Which literally means it is up to you whether or not you bite when a partner shows up. I'm not getting you needing to do a lot of healing this month. It's not because it is not needed, but it's because um, we are here to empower this month. So taking time out um, probably helps less people than doing it another time, if that makes sense. So. And sometimes it's actually necessary, so it's not um, a selfish thing to do. I just hear uh, for us Pisceans um, to not detach this month and be there for everybody as the energy of Piscean actually is, okay? And oftentimes is, okay? But opportunities are coming your way when it comes to your emotional core. And since you don't have to do or ought to not do a lot of healing. Obviously then, uh, this will be a very positive month when it comes to manifesting new love or finding positive ways to talk to the love that you're already in, if that makes sense, let's just say the relationships that you're in and um, have conversations, see if this can be brought to a higher level, okay? That's really, really important. But energetically speaking, so far, Pisceans, I hear only positive things for us. So that's positive and that's really good. Now, when it comes to opportunities, obviously we just talked about opportunities, but these opportunities were for the emotional core. Now we're talking about the opportunities in the opportunity section. Okay? <laughs> so when it comes to opportunities, you don't have to worry too much about going in the right direction because you just follow your own direction and you will find path that you can walk on right? Because we have new beginning. 
And what that literally signifies is that because we are uplifting, we, are, we, we, we spread love, we share love, we become the, the teacher that we're supposed to be, it will open new doors for us. So, so what I'm getting here is for us Pisceans, uh, if I take myself out of the equation, what I'm hearing for you, wherever you are, <laughs> is to understand that your proactivity, if that is the word, you're being proactive, you're, you're being there for others in a constructive way, if that makes sense, will very likely lead to you being able to do this uh, for a living. The point is there are new beginnings. And because you raise the vibration, right, of, of many others, um, you probably also raise yours, okay? So this is by default for us Pisceans, November 2022 is not the month to give up. And I say that towards the end of the video because we have a full moon, like we have every moon, every every month. And the full moon in November 2022 is a difficult one because it is also an eclipse. And that can bring out the worst in us, if that makes sense. Um, so my advice to you is, once you have watched this video, which is uh, about to finish uh, uh, very soon here, please watch the, uh, the um, November 2022 full moon reading just to be aware when the full moon hits what it means how long does that so-called dip actually last all that kind of stuff so do yourself the favor and be aware that all your positivity could be halted for a couple of days because of the full moon of 2022 pisceans thank you so much that's all we got time for uh, please like, subscribe and share um, so that you always are aware when new videos are uploaded. And um, that's all we got time for. All right. See you later. Bye bye.